Hello everyone, Seraphin here. Welcome back for more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. When I last left you guys, we ran into a uh, little bit of an issue here with a thief getting to this house and burning it down. And I don't know what it is that he stole from there. Went ahead and looked it up. It was just an Elwind tome. And uh, Soren's already got one of those. He's not in any danger of breaking it anytime soon. And honestly, I think we get to get the ability to buy those in the not too distant future. So we're not really out that much, and I'm not going to bother with it. I'm not going to reset for just a stupid tome. So we're going to press onward. Uh, that being said, I might have a bit of an issue over here in that uh, I don't know how I'm going to get Mordecai out of this little situation he's in right here. I don't want to kill the vigilante guys, but I might not have a choice because I don't have anybody around the vicinity that can push them out of the way. Unfortunately, they're just a little too bulky for any of my guys to push. They have a build of 10, which is ridiculous for Myrmidons. But I guess maybe it is standard for them. But Boyd has a build of 10, and he's a fighter, so I don't know what's up with that. At any rate, we may not have a choice but to uh, kill one of them, unfortunately, because I need Mordecai to talk to Zyhark in order to recruit him. Uh, he's the only one that can I think I can do it, too, but the Lagoos also work. And more, nobody else is really in range to do it, so I'm going to have to use Mordecai to do it. And I need to get him out of this rut that he's in right now. And I sadly, I don't think Marsh is in a position to wreck this Cavalier. No, not even close. In fact, she's uh, a little on the weak side at the moment for a number of different reasons, probably. But So we will not be using her for that. What I can probably do, though, is use her to kill one of these uh, vigilantes here to make some room. Again, I don't like the idea of having to do that, but... What choice do I have? I can't get my giant blue tiger out of the way, so this is what we have to do. I have made the mistake, unfortunately, of spreading my forces a little all over the place, and I probably shouldn't have done that. I know a lot of them are concentrated over here, but that's where a lot of my big bruisers are, where I need some of them over here. And I just wasn't thinking, so my apologies for that. But now we can let Mordecai come over here and talk to Zyhark. Some people call, his, call him Zhark. I think that's wrong. I think Zhark makes more sense, but uh, your mileage may vary, so choose to pronounce that however you like. So Zhark is actually like a Lagoo sympathizer, and he uh, is functioning as a double agent amongst these vigilantes, which is kind of odd. I didn't realize that would be a thing. Even so, we will go. I told you, they're not my friends. I don't have any friends. You're only Fang. I love that. It's such a great line. So now we have our own, very own second Myrmidon, which is, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we don't really have anything else to do with Mordecai here, so we're just going to leave him be. And Zyhark, on the other hand, is going to take to town this here Cavalier, I think, is appropriate. Unless Kieran can do it. I don't think he can, but just in case. No, he cannot. So we're going to have to rely on Zyhark to kill this guy. Hopefully landing a crit at least once with that killing edge of his. There we go. So that is a dead bow Cavalier. The mounted units in this game are actually very hardy in terms of their ability to withstand damage, and they're also very quick, so they tend to not get doubled. So they're probably some of the most durable and difficult to deal with enemies in this game, apart from, like, you know, generals and whatnot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and heal up Kieran real quick. Since it looks like he's in need of that. And then I want to give these... Myrmidon, something to swing at. Oh, there we go. Magic and speed. That's not bad. I want to give these Myrmidon something to swing at that is not something that will retaliate and kill them. Because, again, I don't actually want to hurt these vigilante guys. Problem is, this one is not a, mer a uh, vigilante and does have to die. So, let's see if I can't finish him off here. As it turns out, I can. So let's take care of him real quick. And Kieran does surprisingly well, even against sword-mounted units, which or sword-mounted, uh, sword-wielding units. 
Mostly because he's a Cavalier, and as we as I just talked about, Cavaliers are really good in this game. And so we're actually going to push him onward because I want to get him up to this house up here, where I believe that Killer Lance resides. Now this one soldier or er, that no, vigilante might go for mist. Uh, that's not that big of a deal. She can actually take a hit if she needs to. The unfortunate reality is. Um, anybody that attacks Zyhark or Kieran is going to die, so what I could do here, actually, I don't think we're going to be needing Mia at the moment, so why don't I come over, have her come over here? And if I use Ilyana to trade away Zyhark's weapon so that he doesn't get to wield it, I believe I've unequipped it now. Nope, he's still using it. Um, yep, so that didn't work. I need to, I would have had to have taken it away. Darn it. Alright, well, the unfortunate reality is one of these, another one of these vigilantes might end up dying right now, but that is what it is, unfortunately. They shouldn't have gotten involved, and honestly, there's not that many of them anyway. I'm not going to be losing out a whole lot of experience in the process. It's just a luxury that I, unfortunately, don't have the ability to make use of at the moment, so that is what it is. Let's go ahead and take out this silly archer guy right here. And this is something that is really interesting. You can actually attack in melee over these fences. They obstruct movement, but they do not obstruct melee attacking. So there's that. And uh, I believe that's gotten me into trouble on more than one occasion previously. Darn it. I need her to get more strength, and she's not getting it. But eventually she will. It's just a matter of how long do I have to wait for that to happen. She's a lot higher up from her base of seven than she was, though. <clears throat> so there is that. Let's see. Look, this thief needs to be dealt with, so why don't we just attack him with another thief? Maybe. Well, apparently Volk is not fast enough to double him, but I think everybody else is, which is kind of funny. You'd think the thief would be the fastest guy in my squad, but sadly that is not the case. Uh, we'll have Soren deal with that cavalier. Turns out my mage is one of my fastest people on my team right now, and he's actually even weighed down by his magic. That should say a thing or two about Soren. Which is funny, because his speed growth really isn't even that high. I think it's like 40%. But he always ends up getting really high speed for some strange reason. I don't know what the situation there is, but... I think Boyd can huck an axe at this guy and not double him. Nobody does one-shot him. Well, that could be an issue. Why don't I just... Take this guy down with Ike, then. Ike with that giant iron blade. Very imposing. The thing's the size of him. Holy smokes. And you see Myrmidons running around with these things? That seems ineffective. Alright, and then we'll have Boyd deal with Mr. Cavalier here. He's not quite strong enough to one-shot him with the short axe. But we'll just hit him with the old-fashioned iron axe. The trusty, rusty Iron Axe. And then who needs some healing? I think Ike is in need of a little bit of a touch-up. Yep, certainly. So this map didn't quite go the way that I wanted it to, unfortunately. But that's the reality of situations like this, is there's just too much for you to do, and you don't have as much... You don't have enough resources to deal with all of them at once. Probably could have done it if I'd played my cards a little bit better, but... You know, something I can do about it now. Ow. Now that guy doesn't even two hit her, or two hit KO her. That's ridiculous. These vigilante guys are just sad. I feel kind of guilty killing them. Wow, Boyd does not double. Yes, like I said, these cavaliers are incredibly difficult to kill in once in a single round, especially. Well, that guy's gonna fall upon Kieran's axe, unfortunately. So I don't even think he hurts him. Nope, he does not. And Kieran just wrecks him. Well, say la vie, I suppose. <clears throat> I could leave that last one alive for some extra experience. Not sure how worth it it is. I really don't need him attacking my healers. Certainly. Uh, I'm going to have Mordecai shove her over to where Kieran's at. So that she can top him off again. Her staff rank leveled up so that she can use men's staffs. That's good. And we're going to have Kieran go for that village up here. 
Iron axe in hand, of course. Um, I think I will have Ilyana accompany him. Now the problem is, if, if that silly vigilante goes for Mordecai, he's going to shred his face off, so we got to be careful of that. Maybe I'll give this mercenary another target. So let's unequip the Killing Edge and see if he'll go for Zyhark instead now. Now Marsha, I think, can draw the attention of these Cavaliers over here. I don't think she does a great deal of damage to them, unfortunately. But we'll see how she does here. So she has 12 speed. That steel has to go down by 5, so it'll put her down to 7 speed. What do these guys have? 11. But they are also weighed down by 3. This one's only this one's weighed down by three. The other one's weighed down by two, I think. No, he's also weighed down by three. So we've got eight speed and nine sp er, nine speed respectively. So if I can maintain that twelve speed, I can double one of them. Now the iron lance weighs just enough, so we're gonna go with that. Again, I don't think I'm gonna do a great deal of damage to them with my strength being so low. But any any extra dent we can put in them will be good. Um, I think I'm going to leave that guy to Volk, if I'm being totally honest. Although I could have Volk steal that priest's healing stave for some extra cash. Why don't we do that? I like f having free heal stabs. And then he can't use them to heal the enemy, so that's a double that's a double whammy in my favor there. And then I'm going to try to draw out the boss. Because he is a pain in my butt, and I need to deal with him quickly. I think we'll let Nephany deal with this Cavalier. Can I just throw a Javelin at him and call it a day? Yeah, that'll work. Now the boss is rather bulky. I don't know if I showed you the stats of that earlier. I might go over there and take a look again. He's got fairly act fairly competent defenses. And he's fast enough to avoid getting doubled, so there's that. I don't even think Ike or Sword are capable of doubling him. Mike maybe, depending on... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look, actually. So now I'm curious. Uh, no, he has 13 speed, and he is not weighed down by either of his weapons, so I would need 17 in order to double him. I don't think anybody on my team has that much. In fact, I can look from this handy little interface here. Speed. The fastest person I have is Nephany at 16, so nope, nothing will double him. Which, again, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, the question now, then, is how do I draw him out? I want to use somebody with enough bulk to not take a lot of damage. I might just put Ike in the range, to be honest with you. He won't be able to counter, but it shouldn't matter too much. Especially because if I draw him out at his maximum range, he'll switch to his bow, so I can just lay into him with melee and not run into any issues. Let's get Riss moved over here. Alright, see how this mess plays out. I know there's going to be some reinforcements appearing in the bottom corner at some point. I want to make sure I avoid that. Alright, Zyhark takes a whopping 2 damage from this guy. Oh, here we have some cavalry riding out to meet me. Sword cavalry, no less, against my Lance Knight. That's always fun for them, I assume. I thought he was going to crit there for a second. I was like, what? Nope, more sword cavalry. Yes, please smash your faces against my Lance Knight. We got Lance Cavs going for Marsha. Like I said, I don't think she's going to do a whole lot. We'll see how this goes. At least she can get out of the way fairly well. And she does have trouble hitting this guy. That's wonderful. I think Kieran might be able to land a decent hit on one of these guys. Yep, here comes those reinforcements I mentioned. And here we have a... Uh, looks to be a fiery red-headed Draco Knight by the name of Jill. And this, this uh, sleepy fellow with an eye patch is Har. He is her commander. And he would rather just lay about and do nothing than, you know, actually have to go fight. Fight a soldier or lance a peasant or whatever you will. Stop interrupting my sleep. We don't move unless we're attacked. That's the word from the top. Ah, fun stuff. So yeah, what we have now in the bottom corner here is a small group of Wyvern Riders, or Draco Knights as they're later going to be called in Radiant Dawn. And among them is said fiery redhead Jill here. 
Uh, they, I don't believe they will attack anybody unless they're in their range. In fact, they might not even attack you at all unless you hit them first. I don't want to gamble with it, though. So we're going to stay out of their range. And also, uh, Jill, even though she is a named uh, character on the board, she is not recruitable at this time. So even if we were to walk up there and talk to her, nothing would happen. I don't even think you can talk to her right now. So there's no point in even trying. We're just going to stay out of her way. As well as the other two of these guys. So definitely want to keep the Laguz guy away, probably. All right, so we're going to sick Kieran on these guys. I don't know how much damage he's capable of doing to them. Looks like he can three-hit KO them with his Steel Axe. He takes a decent amount of damage in the process, though, is the only problem. And I certainly don't want to worry about, or have to worry about him getting killed by anything. Ow. He can take a few of those hits, but not many. So we're going to keep him right here, and I'm going to keep make sure I keep my, uh, my ladies here away from him. Okay, but we're going to continue to use Zyhark as a meat shield here, if, if at all possible. But now we've got an issue of they're both in range of that sword guy still. Hmm. This could be problematic, actually. I wonder... Oh, I can make a... Yeah, I can make a shield here with Mordecai and Zyhark, and then they still can't get to him. Perfect, that'll work. Thankfully, Mordecai has extremely high movement, so even if they were to get... Even if he's out of the, out of the way a little bit, he can catch up really quickly. Alright, let's take these guys down, and also put Ike in the range, if at all possible. Um, who needs the experience for the kill? I think Volk could do with some. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. How does Soren fare against these guys? Too well. Seems to be the story of my life right now. Uh, that might work. Let's throw a short axe at him. Yeah, that'll put him in kill range of Volk. Watching a thief fight is really interesting in this game, that's for sure. He just kind of scampers up and smacks him in the face. I'm not sure how I feel about the thief attack animation in this game. It's okay. Certainly could be a lot worse. Speaking of Volk, why don't we heal him up real quick? And then we just got to deal with this silly schmuck here. This other sword cavalry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Skill and res. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, uh, Ike can lay a decent amount of smack down on this guy without killing him. That puts him half dead. That's good enough, right? I could use the regal sword and just outright murder him, but... Ike, of course, is the pinnacle of being able to dodge stuff. He'll do that a lot, like just not just any not just any point, but through the entire course of the game, he'll be dodging a lot of things. Let's get Nephany moved up here. Um, let's see how this goes. No problem there. I could have saved myself some L wind and used regular wind instead, but where's the fun in that? Wow, alright. Well, Soren is fastly approaching the point where he's going to be untouchable. As well as laying waste to everything in front of him. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Well, she dodged that last guy, so I think she's okay to hit him again. As long as they don't both hit her, but they do have... Canto. That's what I'm concerned about. Maybe I'll fly her over here and let Kieran take the brunt of their hits. How weighed down is he by that Steel Axe? By four? So he's got... Okay, they won't double him. He might actually be able to dodge them in return. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to fly Marsha over here, though. She's out of the way. I don't want to risk one of these guys stabbing her, running away, and then the other guy coming in and killing her, because they definitely could do that. All right, let's see how this goes. Here comes Boss Man. 
does a very cool looking armor, like that black with the orange trim looks very interesting. Enough talk. Now we fight. Alright, well that guy should drop pretty quickly. I don't think he's that difficult to kill as, soon as, as long as we mob him. <laughs> Which, again, because he's got a bow, is not going to be difficult. Alright, here come our friendly neighborhood Lance Cavaliers. Kieran learns how to dodge, but he also doesn't remember how to hit things. I guess I'll take it, it'll take it or leave it at this point. I might be able to take both of them down in a single round if I have the help of Ileana and Marsha here. Smack. Alright, that guy's definitely taking going down in a single smack here. As long as he doesn't run too far away. Alright, 18 and 11. I think we can handle it with just this guy here. I could go for the one hit and not take any retaliation damage. Yeah, let's give that a try. I'm willing to take a gamble on that. Funny enough, Kieran has an ability called Gamble, where it uh, drastically reduces his hit rate but increases his critical hit rate by a small percentage. Unfortunately, it's generally not really all that worth it. He still has a hard time landing hits, and he had the critical hit bonus is not very drastic. It's like 20% maybe, at the, I think, at the peak of it, so it's really not worth it. And then this guy should be ripe for the killing at the hands of our resident mages. Mage and or Pegasus Knight. Let's see how this goes. In fact, I think Ilyana could probably just kill him right now. But Marsh is in the way, so... Uh, wow, she doesn't even double this guy? Whatever, she can get a free hit on him. That'll just make it easier to kill him later. Or she could just miss. But again, thankfully Marsha is able to get the heck out of the way. She is at least halfway decent at that. Now we're going to have Mordecai smite Ileana into the range here. Let's see if we can lay some hurt down on this guy. Uh, we don't kill him, unfortunately. Unless I land a lucky crit, but that's not likely to happen, so let's just give it a shot here. Again, Ileana's magic is kind of her undoing right now. I wish it was a few points higher. That would have certainly saved us some effort. And then Kieran could do with another touch-up of healing here, I think. Alright, we just gotta take out Le Boss. Uh, the mission won't be over once we do that, though. We still gotta deal with these guys and capture that space in front of the boat, but that won't be difficult. In fact, I have just a tool for this thing. Why don't I bust out the poleaxe? Lay some hurt down on this guy. That'll put a nice big chunk out of him. Holy smokes. They're not fleeing. What would we need to be scared of you guys for? Holy smokes, that hurt. Alright, well, that's three-fifths of his HP gone in a single swing. I dare say I think Ike can finish him off at this point. Uh, Regal Sword leaves him with one hit point. And then we can have pretty much anybody we want finish him off and take the kill for some nice boss XP. It's that sweet, juicy, delicious boss XP. Good lord. This is why we people that play this game say that Ike is one of the best heroes in the series, or main characters rather, because of stuff like that, where his growths are just off the chart in every single area, except magic maybe. His strength's actually a little on the low side, but you know what, that's fine, because that means he's not going to be a one-man wrecking ball, and I can actually use him to set up kills for other people, which is kind of ideal. I think I'll let Volt kill this guy. Actually, no, I won't, because he can't hurt him. Well, in that case... I can't steal his weapon either, apparently, because I guess that Lugu Slayer weighs just a little bit too much. Let's let Nephany huck a spear at his face. 
That'll be a dead boss. I don't know who he's referring to with your excellency there. I think it might be the Black Knight, but it's, he, considering he didn't address him as that earlier, I don't know. I don't know that you would address a general as your excellency anyway, or a knight for that matter. Oh, come on, Nephany, what the... F yeah, whatever. She's had halfway decent growth up until now. I guess she was destined for a crappy one at some point. At least it was HP. Lord knows she needs more of that. Although I really wish it had been strength or defense or something like that. She's still only level 14. She's got plenty of levels to grow, so... Alright, we're just gonna bring up the good old army here. We'll let Oscar lead the way, because that's what we do. Alright, who's hurt? Anybody? Not really. We got a couple of one point missing here and there, but... Uh-oh. Oh, good. Well, <clears throat> that's a problem. Ike with his ticked off face. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Really, is that Lance Cav going to run away from me? Like, you jerk. Get back here. These guys are going to smash themselves against Oscar here. No big deal there. Alright, Oscar, get strength, dude. Actually, no, I lied. Get speed. You need speed more than that. Hey, look at that. He got speed and defense. Not bad. Told you he'd be okay after a couple of levels. Did I say that? I don't remember if I said that or not. I don't know. Anyway, Oscar's good. That's the important thing. Now that he's reliably doubling people... These guys are really weighing themselves down with weapons, though, to their own detriment. Alright, well, I think... Okay, yeah, this is... We're not going to be fighting this guy for a number of reasons. Uh, he's max level, with maxed out strength, skill, and defense. Actually, his defense is over cap because his sword gives him five more. And he has an 18 might sword that attacks from distance. So, yeah, we're not going to be going anywhere near him. And 27 speed on an armored general, that's ridiculous. So anyway, that is the Black Knight. He is utterly terrifying. He also has Luna and Renewal, so good luck. And 60 hit points. So yeah, we're not going anywhere near him for a number of reasons, because A, if you go in his range, he will fight you, and he will murder everybody in your army by himself. So uh, that's not happening. What I am going to do, however, is have Kieran give chase to that silly cavalier that got away from me. And I can't quite kill him in a single hit, unless I somehow land a lucky crit with 1%. Nope, not happening. That's alright. I didn't expect it to happen anyway, but you never know. Alright, so now we can finally grab whatever's in this house. I think it's a killer lance. Yes, a killer lance. Delightful. Uh, we don't need it right this minute, but I'll, I'll, I'll send the steel lance away instead. So yeah, again, we're staying well enough away from the Black Knight. We don't need any of that nonsense. Uh, even if we wanted to try to engage him right now, we wouldn't be able to hurt him for obvious reasons. He's got 35 defense. And I think our strongest character is capable of doing maybe 20-something. So yeah, they just wouldn't hurt him. And then let's have... Let's have Neff come up here and stab one of these guys. Mm, Dauntless will do it. See, even with her not-so-great strength value, she's still a one-round Cavaliers. It's because she's blisteringly fast. She's faster than Mia right now. and Well, I guess she's got a couple levels on Mia, but still. That's impressive. Um, I think we'll let Volk take out... Actually, we're going to steal that guy's healing staff again, because that's always fun. Thank you for the healing staff. Um... Me, I could do with a level. Why don't I get her into position here? So she can attack somebody. Boyd should be able to get her further, I think. Nah, one more. Let's have Riss do it. 
make a little shove train here. This is an interesting mechanic, though, that they introduced to this game, and I'm definitely glad that they did. It allows you to do funny stuff like this. Uh, resolution will do it. It's a one-shot. Goodbye, Mr. Horse. Well, the horse is fine, you'll notice there. The horse is just like, I don't know what's going on. It's the rider that we're worried about. More speed and defense. I like it. Defense in a Myrmidon is one of those underrated things because, they, strangely enough, they can't dodge every single thing. So it does help to have some defense on your sword-wielding frontline units. And then we're going to need a few turns to crack through this guy, I think. But I'm going to let him attack me first. Alright, we are ready to move. Or not, as it were. Again, I don't know where that cavalry is going. He's running away very quickly, but he's not going to make it very far. Didn't hurt nearly as badly as I expected it to, but that's okay. Now, who do we want to take down this silly armor knight? That's a great question. <laughs> this high just like, try to hit me. Come at me, young grasshopper, and it's not working. So I think we'll let Kieran finish this guy off by once again whipping a hand axe at his face, assuming he hits him, of course. Nice. Goodbye, Mr. Cavalier. Not sure where you were going, but you did not make it there. Yeah, Kieran, I think, is going to be a good staple of our army. He is an axe cavalier, and that's arguably the best weapon type in this game, so... Uh, I guess we'll let Volk take down this thief. Actually, he can't even kill him. That's kind of sad, actually. Nope, never mind, he crit him. Interesting. Still not quite enough for a level up, but that's okay. Uh, we'll let Oscar take a poke at this guy, quite literally. That'll put him down to one. And then that should be a kill for <laughs> just enough. Holy smokes. That's kind of amusing, actually. Alright, so now we can have Ike capture the boat, and we are out of here. However, I don't think we're going to be able to do it this turn. Unless... Can Riss shove Ike? I don't know. Uh, as it turns out, he can. But let me double check and make sure we got everything. Uh, we left this one guy alive. Sadly, it wasn't all three of them, but what can you do? We have all the items that we can get, all the enemies that we can kill are dead, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's bolt. Let's get out of here. We've arrived at the boat. And here comes Mr. Black Knight again. Uh oh. Ronolf, don't do it. I've met you once before, yes. Huh. Now, here's something funny that the Black Knight says. He's like, by measuring his aid strength, I will learn more about the king's true power. And Ronald's like, yeah, okay, whatever. My king's way stronger than me. Ronald looking a little uh, unsettled here. For obvious reasons, this guy is just covered in armor. No, Ronald, don't do it. Can't lay a scratch on him, unfortunately. And then he gets crit, but doesn't die somehow. That should give you an idea of just how ridiculously strong Ronolf is. And then he gets healed by a physics staff. And Ronolf's like, what? Hey, it's that monk. Huh. 
Huh. Black Knight's just like, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so apparently Seferin, the monk on pilgrimage, is capable of standing his ground against the freaking Black Knight. Not necessarily in combat, we don't know what's going to happen, but he, the Black Knight just won't attack him, it looks like. Sadly, Jill does not get to fight anything. Your Lord Father would not be pleased. Who the heck is her father, I wonder? The Black Knight has ordered us to withdraw. Well... Well, away we go. Wow. Whoa, okay. So this monk is apparently a lot more than he seems. But sadly, we don't get to learn anything more about that right this minute. A green-haired lass boarded that... Yeah, because there's more... There's totally only one green-haired girl in the whole world. How has your luck changed? They got away. Well... Yeah, that's really a good point, actually. Like, you guys just sold out your own princess, so enjoy your reward. Morons. <laughs> anyway. So here we are, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> and here comes Ronolf again. Oh, it's Gifka. <laughs> to move with such speed with all that armor, it's not right. Princess and the others are now safely at sea. The watchdog? No signs of carelessness? Uh, what is he talking about? He's got a point. Dan's next target is Gallia. Yeah, that's probably for sure. Oh, more exposition, everybody. <clears throat> this here is King Ashnard of Dan. The location of the medallion. I wonder what medallion they're talking about. Oh, good. Now we know there's a worm in the group. Well, we know that as the people playing this, not the people who are actually involved in the story. Oh. Interesting. Apparently that monk was actually the Prime Minister of Benyon. Overreaching ambition invites disaster.
Hmm. So yeah, King Ashnard is uh, interesting. At any rate, we'll talk more about that in another episode. So thank you very much for watching up to this point. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you in the next episode where we start off Chapter 12 while we're going to be on a boat. Boats are fun. At any rate, I will see you then. This has been Seraphin. Stay classy, internets.